Okay, so now you know that Microsoft Dynamics NAV can be useful for businesses. So let's see what is the difference between Dynamics NAV and Dynamics 365 for Financials Business Edition. The first one is Dynamics 365 for Financials is new in the market. And if you see Dynamics NAV, more than 110,000 companies are using Dynamics NAV worldwide. So it's not new, it's been proven and tested by a lot of businesses. So this is a number for from like 2014 and, uh, and we are in 2018. So of course the number has grown up. Dynamics 365 for financials is new, but Dynamics NAV is already there. Then Dynamics 365 is available on SaaS software as a service. So you don't need to have any infrastructure on your premises and you can just sign up and you can start using it. Whereas Dynamics NAV on-premise version has uh, option to install on your servers and also you can host it on third-party services which will act as the SaaS only right so either you install it on your server or you can you can uh, deploy it on third-party hosted solution and you can access it using a browser the next is Dynamics 365 for financials has basic financials, basic supply chain, jobs and project management and accounting. So these are the only things uh, you have in Dynamics 365 for financials. Whereas in Dynamics Nav, all the things that you have in 365 are available as well as the extended functionality like warehousing, manufacturing and professional services are available. So if you're just looking for financials and basic supply chain, then Dynamics 365 for financials is a good solution. But if you want to get into the manufacturing, warehousing and professional services, then uh, Dynamics NAV is the solution to go for. For customizations, Dynamics 365, it uses app source apps. So they are apps created by Microsoft partners, right? So those apps you can use for customizations. Whereas in Dynamics NAV, the customizations are custom built. There you can develop your app customization and also you have ISV add-ons. So there are a lot of independent software vendor who have built industry specific uh, solutions that you can use and you can plug into Dynamics NAV and you can start using it. The cost is uh, low in Dynamics 365 for financials because you don't need to invest anything on in infrastructure, hardwares. All you need to do is just sign up and start using. Whereas in Dynamics NAV, the cost is mid-range. Like you need to pay for the servers, you need to buy the licenses, right? Then you can start using it. Let's talk about licensing. Dynamics 365 for financials available only in subscription model. It means it is a cloud-based application, so you will pay as you use. Whereas Dynamics NAV is available in perpetual as well as subscription. So perpetual means you need to buy the licenses, the server license as well as the user licenses. Okay, that's the initial investment you need to do. And uh, if you don't want that, then you can also go for subscription, which is nothing but third party hosted solution. You can decide that which one is best as per your needs, right? So for businesses, which one to use? I want you to choose based on the above parameters and the flexibility as per your business needs. Based on your business requirements, which solution will work best, not just for now, but going forward as well, right? So you need to understand all those things. So if you need any clarification on that, if you need any help in this, you can always reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you and answer your questions. So this is the difference between Dynamics NAV and Dynamics 365 for Financials Business Edition. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video tutorial.